today we got a package here there's a tool inside of here we're going to open this up and unbox it and then we're going to review this tool and um, see what it's all about and um, see if it's something we can get some use out of stick around guys Okay guys, so this product was sent to me from a company called Saker BM. It's S-A-K-E-R BM. Okay, they're out of uh, Appa, Laca, Florida. They're not real far from me. So let's go ahead and we want to open this up. We want to check this out. This is a grease gun coupler okay Saker grease gun coupler locks it's supposed to lock on to your um, grease fittings let's go ahead and let's open this up and then we're going to take it outside we'll grease the front of the tractor with it they reached out to me there will be a description for this product in the link below there will be a link for this product in the description below okay so let's go ahead and open this up let's check this out okay cool all right yeah yeah okay um, like I said, there will be a link in the description for this product. Awesome. So, let's see what it says here on the box. Uh, convenient use, leak proof design, upgraded second generation, high pressure applications, compatible with all grease guns. So what this will do is I'll unscrew my end off my grease gun. I will screw this one on. And then we're going to... I mean, it is kind of big, so there's going to be some places that you're not going to be able to get into. Um, but the places you can, I figure this is going to be nice because uh, after my stroke, you know, I have a hard time with a grease gun. So I have to have a power grease gun, which I have, and you'll see it, because I can't squeeze the grease gun anymore. And also, this will this will be great for a grease gun that you have to pump because it you can't pump a grease gun if you have to hold the hose onto the fitting. You you see what I'm saying? And then you stick it onto the fitting and you start pumping. Nine times out of ten, it pops off. So let's go ahead and let's take this outside. There's some pictures on the back of it here. Let's go ahead and take this outside. Let's put this on my grease gun. Let's grease the tractor. Stick around, guys. One more thing on here as well. The grease gun coupler locks. Uh, satisfaction guaranteed. We are confident in the quality of the product in the process of daily use. If the product has quality problems or have any questions about the product, Please feel free to contact us. We are always there. And this this is made in China. So, okay, that's pretty much it on that. So, let's go outside now. Okay, guys. So, what we have to do is we got to take this end off of my gun. So, we can put this end on it. Okay. So, let's see here. I think I've got the right size wrenches. Yeah, I do. Because I had to tighten this once because it was loose. Alright, so there's that. It's supposed to fit all grease guns. Okay. Just unscrew that off of there. Don't lose that because, you know, you, you may have to change it to get into tight spaces. Um, you know, some... 
some grease fittings are just not you just they're just hard to get to and that's just you know that's a fact of life so not every grease gun is going to be perfect for everything follow me so all right now i'm just going to tighten this up all right that should do it there we go now before we grease this tractor before i get this plugged in i have a grease fitting up here I have the old spindle that came off here. This one's still good, so I saved it. So, there's the grease fitting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this lever back right here. It will pull back. You see that? So you're gonna pull that lever back, stick it onto the fitting, let go of the lever, and it should be locked into place, and it is. Now the test is, will it leak? Let's find out. Let's go up here and grease the front of this tractor. Okay, guys. I know it's, it's trying to focus on the tire, but this is what I want you to look at right here. This is the grease fitting. Again, I'm just going to pull that back, that lever back, stick that on there, and let go of it. Locks it in. Now, to take it off, you just do the opposite. Okay, let's check this out. And there comes the grease right there. Now I'm gonna take this off. Okay, that worked pretty good. Let's do the other side, just to make sure. Okay, so this one has a little better view. All right, so we're gonna clip this onto here, and then we're gonna watch grease come out of here. So again, squeeze the lever back, put it on, let go. Now as you can see, I'm not, well, here. I wanna show you where you at. One-handed, and the grease is coming out. I keep this thing pretty well greased up, but you can see the grease coming out. One-handedly, awesome. Let's try something else. Okay, let's try the ball joint on the vet. Now, sometimes these upper ball joints you have to jack up. Here's my other hand, I'm not holding the hose. And it's taking the grease just fine. I feel it. Yep, there it is. It's coming out down here. Yep. There's the new grease coming out. Let's take this off. All right. So far, I like it. Like I said, now there's going to be some tight places that you're going to have trouble getting into with this. But there's going to be some tight places you're gonna have trouble getting this little thing in I know because uh, there are some vehicles the wheels actually cover this even if you got a 90 sometimes they won't turn to where you need them to be and they'll be inside sometimes you got to pull the wheels off of something that's just a fact of life and that's just the way it is so far this gets two thumbs up for me I like it Again, it's from Saker, S-A-K-E-R. It's got a cool little gear with a horse head on it there. So yeah, I like. I think that's a horse head. I like it. And you know, as always, I will update as I use it. I will update my review. But so far, I do like it. Like I said, I will hang on to this one because sometimes this will get in places that one won't. But it's just a part of life and it's just stuff you gotta deal with sometimes. But I do like the fact that I can do that one-handedly. If something happens to this grease gun, it's the only uh, pneumatic grease gun I have. It's the only power grease gun I have. I do have one with a handle that I cannot squeeze. So, the only other ones I've got, I've got a couple of the, the pump ones, the handle and those. It's, they're almost impossible to use because you have to hold your hose on there because these, see, it'll stay on there for a minute, but once, you, once it gets pressure on it, it pops it off. So, you pretty much need three hands sometimes. So, yeah, I like it. Let's do my final thoughts. 
Okay, so final thoughts. Now, I thought that was a horse head, but it kind of looks like an eagle. Now, I'm not sure. See what you guys think. It kind of looks like an eagle head. But anyway, uh, yeah, two thumbs up. I like it. And I will use it a lot, especially like on the tractor. There's a lot of places I can get into with this on the tractor. Like I said, there's going to be some places you can't get into with this. There's going to be some places you can't get into with just a regular end. Okay, just be mindful of that. Don't think it's junk. It's too big and won't fit. Well, there's so many places this will fit. And even if it's two out of four um, fittings that you've got a grease where you can use this, especially if you got the old grease gun with the handle that you got to pump even if it's 50 percent of your grease fittings that you can use this on to me it's well worth it like i said there will be a link in the description for this particular product here they also have other products you may be interested in and you can check them out and there'll be a link to their website in the description below as well so i want to say thank you guys for watching it's starting to rain again so i gotta get my camera in where it's dry and where i'm dry <laughs> again thanks for watching guys appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now and thank you seiko for hopefully i'm pronouncing that right s-a-k-o or s-a-k-e-r saker thank you so much for sending me this product to review and again i will I will do updates as time goes by, let you know the longevity, how well I'm liking it after I use it, you know, 20, 30 times. We'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all stay safe. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye, guys.